Well, I just had a great meal and I'd say, what the heck? Hey, little fella. Welcome to Wyoming, I guess. Hey? Those things are pretty darn cool. <clears throat> just passing through. Well, I'm just in Casper. We're going to pull everything off here and uh, get an empty truck and trailer because tomorrow we might have quite a bit of freight here. But I just noticed something here as I was <coughs> unloading. Is this still a thing? I don't know. It was a thing when I was a kid. Is this still a thing? Is that good luck? I don't know. We're going to hope so. Good luck to me and you and everybody else. Well, sometimes you get a bunch of base hits and then the home run comes. So yeah, I'm going to be loading up to go home with all this stuff. So patience is a virtue, they say. So patience helped me hit a home run here. So this will be a full load. I'm hoping to be about 50,000 pounds heading out of Casper here. So stay tuned. Ooh, hey, she's beauty out here. Okay, so we're going to be maxed out here. Well, here's my pressure gauge. This is how we load the truck. Fifty-two, and I am maxed out on my drives. That there looks like I'm at about fifty-three. Can't you tell? This is what we have to deal with. I got to get a better gauge, but yeah. So right now it's on the sixty. That's sixty. So yeah, we're so close, but I'm gonna move the move a pallet here. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I got it running so I can keep the air pressure up, so I know exactly where I'm gonna be. So these pallets here, I started them on the front, but then I was too heavy. I moved them back to here. Still a little too heavy. I got. About 18 inches there. So I'm gonna move all these on the other side too. Over to here. And I should be good. Yeah, make me work for it. Stay tuned. Okay. I moved it right over there. Oh yeah, let's see how she looks. Beautiful day here. Hardly any wind here in Casper. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's Right there, that's the one. Two ticks. Looking good. Looking good. Very nice, yes. Very nice. Still in big sky country, Wyoming. I just pulled over in this uh, off ramp, on ramp to check the load. So let's go check it out. I'll show you what it looks like with the tarp on it and then I got her all weighed out and I am just pretty much bang on so still got lots of room we can put more stuff there not much room anyway here's how she all looks like <clears throat> those pipe run they ride really nice sitting in the valleys of the other pipe <clears throat> got these collars on the back they're all banded to the pallet and straps over top got a twist in the strap so it doesn't flutter in the wind because a fluttering strap is a loose strap See here, man, that is pretty cool. 
That is pretty cool. Look at all that stuff down there. It's just an awesome day out here. Hey, how you doing? Never seen an idiot with a camera before? Yeah, she's beauty out here. Not for much longer though. We got some winter coming. So we're running with all axles down because our weights says we have to. So what do I got? I've got, uh, what do I got here? I got one, all this pipe is one, two, three, four, five, six drops. There you go. She's a six dropper. <clears throat> I just can't get over that. That's just awesome. Let's go take a look at them weights. See how we worked it out. Hold on. All right, we're in here. Okay. More fancy drawing. So, I got a scale ticket. And I went and weighed it. So that's the truck, that's me, that's me wishing I had ape hangers in my truck to drive with, and the trailer of course, so steering axle, drive axles, and the three axles on the trailer. In Wyoming and Montana and a couple other states, we're allowed 90,000 pounds gross, that's what we're registered for, so... <clears throat> maximum 12,000 on the steering 34,000 on the tandems you can buy permits to all increase this but this is just kind of a general I looked it up the triaxle weight limits it said 42,000 pounds for tries in Wyoming but then I looked and it says actually you're allowed on this triaxle group you're allowed 65,000 pounds in Wyoming as long as you stay under this right as long as you stay on the gross in Montana, 60,000 pounds, 20,000 per axle, as long as you stay under that. So, um, yeah. So then what do we got here? If you can see that. So we're, where are we here? Let me see here. So we're under 12 there, 11,740. We're under 34 at number two at 32,980. And uh, we're under 60 there at 41,640. And then we're under gross by 3,100 pounds or 3,640 pounds. So, yeah, that's why we had to do some moving. So now I'm allowed 34,000 here, right? So I'm almost at 33. I had to move that stuff around. Because I'm at half a tank of fuel too, so I gotta. They don't care that you're legal and then you fuel up, and now you're illegal. That don't mean nothing to them. That's still weight. So you gotta plan for fuel. So basically, thirty-three thousand, half a tank. You know what's that? That's gonna be about uh, one hundred and twenty gallons. Seven pounds a gallon. You know, so we're going to be almost 700 pounds. Five to, I'd say about six or 700 pounds on top of this number once I fuel up. So we're going to be way under, not way under, but we're going to be close to being legal. So that's how we do it. That's how we figure it out. So then now we can figure out. <clears throat> Eighty six three sixty eighty six three sixty, which is my gross, right? Subtract what my truck and trailer weighs thirty five two hundred, and that'll give us how much weight of product I have on. So zero six one one five 
So I got 151,160 pounds of stuff. That's a good load. We hit the home run. Okay? Good job, man. Good job. All right. On we go. So, yeah. We lucked out. Maybe that lucky penny worked. So it is a thing still. And, uh, yeah. Heading home. It's Friday. Friday night. We got out of there pretty early, too, so that's good. Oh, don't forget the noose. Put on the noose. I don't want to fall out. Plus, I don't want this camera yelling at me. Ah, good stuff. You know, as I'm loading there today, at this place, just like any other place, the place that I work here, there's a turnover, right? It's hard work. Flat decking is hard work. Not everybody wants to do it. Not everybody can do it. A lot of people make it harder than it is. Uh, a lot of people haven't been trained right. And a lot of people... are lazy, I guess. You can't be lazy to be a flat better. So I'm talking to this guy. He's an older guy, like I'm talking like 60. And uh... He's complaining about money and stuff like that. He's a company driver. I've never seen him before. And all of a sudden, he just kind of opened up. You know those guys. And he's telling me, you know, the country song. Well, I'm divorced. The dog, had, the dog died. My truck blew up. You know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. And I don't, I feel for anybody that's going through trouble. I hate to see anybody going through trouble. And then, uh, there's some trouble with his load because as he went to a customer to load, they started just throwing more stuff on him. And he didn't pay attention track and just brought it back to the yard and how we in the LTL business you have to be organized and know where this stuff is and where it's going and we do that by numbering everything when you load it so that when you bring it back to the yard if you drop it at the yard there's a number on it so the next guy knows he can pick up that stuff and take it right this guy didn't do any of that So then, I'm listening to him, and he's kind of getting the chewing out because he didn't, you know, this guy doesn't care. Doesn't give two flying boonads. So then I said to him, I said, hey man, like, he's not getting a chewing for me, he's getting a chewing from the, ma from the terminal manager. Because now they got to go through, and it's oil tools. They're oily, covered in oil. You've seen them long, rusty, all that stuff. Now they got to go through the paperwork and find a serial number on those tools through all the oil and everything and put a number on it. Whereas when they were loading it on him at the shipper, he could have just, okay, what load is this for? Write the number down while you're there on the pipe. Make it easier for everyone, right? thinking smarts anyway so I says to him I says hey man why didn't you why didn't you do that ah, I didn't think about it I don't know I'm just a truck driver I wish I would have been allowed to smack him across the head right there I'm just a truck driver well, uh, that's not giving us all a bad name. I don't know what it is. Like, come on. If you're not going to be participating in this chosen job of yours, then get out. 
just get out. What a waste of skin. Like, if you ever say, I'm just a truck driver. Oh, I'm just a parts tech. Ah, I'm just a barista. Ah, I'm just a dog walker. Terrible attitudes, you guys. Terrible attitudes. You have a good attitude out here. You're proud of what you do. It doesn't matter what it is. Whether you run the, uh, the septic cleanup, the running the honey pot sucker upper, whether you uh, are a barista, whether you uh, work at McDonald's, whether you uh, uh, dig ditches or run machinery or drive a truck, you're important no matter what you do. There's a reason that job there is because there's a need. So if you're feeling a need, you're needed. Turn that frown upside down, be positive. And then I just kind of said to him, I said, well, if you do what you always done, you'll have what you always have. You're always gonna be uh, just a truck driver, and that's what you'll always be. You will always feel that way, you will always have money problems, you will always have personal problems, you will always have issues. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Everybody have a great weekend. Making it home. Get delivered. We'll start delivering Monday. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what our next adventure brings. Hey, bye for now.